Hey guys, this is Austin. I'm reporting live here at CES 2013 at the Sony booth, going over some of the really cool cameras they have to show. So, let's take a look. The first camera we have is the Sony RX1. Now this looks like a normal little point and shoot, but it is absolutely not. It is one of the first cameras, in fact, it is the first small camera like this to have a full frame sensor, which is in fact the exact same sensor that is in my huge DSLR that I'm filming this right now. Uh, on top of that, it also does have a fixed lens, so it's a 35 millimeter f2. Would be nice to have a little bit of zoom or be able to exchange lenses, but it does have a manual aperture ring as well as a very, very, very nice smoothing, uh, smooth focus le focusing lens. Uh, on top of that, it's also very nice and compact. Uh, unfortunately, though, the big thing is it's going to be $2,800, so very expensive stuff. But this is really cool, and again, nothing that you can come anywhere close to getting unless you have a huge DSLR and pay a lot more money for lenses and all that kind of stuff. Now getting to the higher end stuff, we have the Sony F55. Now this is a full professional rig, as you guys may be able to see here. It is a full 4K camera, so of course this is what you'll be able to shoot movies, all kinds of really, really high end stuff. Now as far as the specs go, of course it does have a 4K sensor, and shoots up to 60 frames per second, or if you're doing 2K, you can do it well over 200 frames per second, which is really cool. Now this is definitely pricey, of course, as you would expect from something that looks this awesome. This is going to run you about $33,000 in February. Something just a little bit more in my price range is the new Sony WX80. Now this is a tiny little camera, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, it's like the size of my hand. Really, really tiny, but it's got a lot of cool features. For one, it's got a 16 megapixel CMOS sensor with full 1080p video, so you should get some pretty good image stabilization and all that kind of fun stuff. And on top of that, it also does have Wi-Fi built in. So you can go ahead and connect it to various different devices. So for example, if you have a Sony smartphone, you can use it as a remote. Really, really cool stuff. And it's also very, very small. Did I mention that yet? So there you guys have it. Some of the really cool cameras that Sony has launched at CES 2013. Now, I got my eye on an F55, but uh, $33,000 is just a little bit steep. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. We've got lots more CES 2013 coverage on the way right now. Anyway guys, I will catch you in the next one.